the walls were moving. This darkness that looked like it went on forever. The blood loss, the hallucination. Thousands and thousands of spiders. So I'm an actor. I mean, it's just something that I, you know, naturally was drawn to. I have, I guess, this gift in front of a camera. I've worked on, I mean, not that I'm counting, but about 63 Hollywood films. Um, and I mean, not to name drop, but I've worked with Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise, Meryl Streep, Viola Davis, Olivia Coleman, and I stood next to Tom Hanks, which was pretty epic so you know you can watch that when it comes out you know i haven't even trained so to be in this position to be working as much as i am it's just you know i'm so i'm so lucky there is this one film that i did which was called dinosaurs playground which obviously is a code name because i signed an nda my agent messaged me and said great news they want you to have a line and I cannot tell you, I literally was, I was in tears. This is it, okay? This is my foot in the door. This is what I've worked so hard for. And you know, I, I deserve it. So it got to the day of filming and I was, I was ecstatic. I couldn't sleep the whole night. I was just going over my head, this line that I was gonna have to perform. And, and I, I was obviously nervous because it was such a big opportunity and you know, you don't want to let people down. The director is looking at you. I just couldn't wait to go on set and see the director and like thank him and shake his hand for, you know, giving me this chance. Um, and hopefully I could ask some questions, you know, that I've been dying. To, I usually write like questions out in my notebook because there's obviously a lot of time to kill. So I had like 17 questions I wanted to ask him. When I got to the gate, there was these, like a line of extras and you know, some of them I know because I've worked with them before, like you cross paths with, but usually I'm kind of hanging around with those guys, but today they have these lists, the crew members, and they call out your name. So they called my name and they sent me straight to hair and makeup. So I was already buzzing because usually like you have to wait a little bit for hair and makeup and I get a bit stressed that they're gonna rush. It wasn't obviously a glamorous look because I was playing a hiker, um, explorer, but I got to wear this really cool outfit. So obviously it was just like hiking gear and then I had like hard hat on and this like blazer thing with like, um, I don't know what you call it, I don't really do rock climbing, but you know, with the harness, um, they obviously weren't gonna attach me to anything because you know, I think they need to pay me more for that. So then I was just waiting around on set for a bit, waiting to be called and I was getting really nervous, just thinking about what I'm gonna have to do. And then suddenly the AD, the assistant director, comes over to me and I was like, hi, oh, hi Steve, like, hi, how are you? And he points at me and he's like, um, you get up, find your ex in the cave, wait there until we call action. So he was obviously really stressed, so we didn't really chat for very long. But um, I went in the cave and there was, it was really dark. Um, I had the head torch, but I wasn't, allowed to have it on obviously until they called action so I was in the t in the cave and looking for this X and there was this like glow in the dark tape and I was thinking you know that's when you realize you've made it when you get your own mark I mean it was just I wish I could take I could take pictures honestly it was just amazing but everything's super top secret and then I was going over my line and my line um is pretty epic so he said that I had to run out the cave and I had to scream help help he's in there help and then just like run I was just thinking like how should it be delivered because you can't really talk to the director obviously um you don't get a lot of time i'm um, not that it's because you know he doesn't care it's just like you know i know what i'm doing um so i was thinking about it should it be like help help or like help like how much energy, I didn't know how much energy he wanted, so I kept going over this line in my head, you know, whether I should be like, help, or like, if I should be flustered, um, and then I realised that I hadn't even done my physical warm-up yet, 
So I started pacing around, you know, doing some lunges and kind of getting out of breath because obviously to get in the character, the character would be out of breath, you know? So I was really thinking to how they'd be feeling, like physically, if they'd be quite tired, like if they had an injury or something. And I was pacing back and forth and then I started to realize that I'd kind of gone quite far into the cave and I couldn't see my ex. So I started pacing like back and forth, looking for this ex. And then suddenly I fell. And you know when you fall and, or you're on a ride and the air kind of leaves your body and you go to scream but nothing comes out. It was like that moment and then just black. I don't actually know how long I was out. It could have been like, I don't know, about 20 minutes, maybe more. But when I came to, it was just like this blanket of pure darkness. It was, you know, it was just so dark that I couldn't even, I couldn't even see my fingers. I couldn't even see the edges of the cave. It just looked like nothing. I need to pull myself together. I need you know, to look around, I need to find something, you know, I didn't know what I'd fallen onto, I didn't know if it was safe, I didn't know if there was anything in there, I could just smell this metallic blood smell, my head felt wet, I knew, I knew that I was bleeding, so I knew that I needed to get out, you know, and there was people waiting for me, I had a line, I needed to get out. But I was just lying there, I was still lying there like a crumpled piece of paper. So I started trying to move my limbs and they just felt like stiff and bruised. I started trying to scramble around but I didn't want to touch anything because I didn't know, I didn't know what was there and, and it was, the floor was just kind of like wet slippery rock and it was there were sharp bits and and it felt like it was just the biggest open space because I couldn't see anything and it felt like it was going on forever and so I was kind of crawling around and then suddenly I, f I found it I found my torch and I just put it on straight away like like a blanket and it was just it was just that moment like you know that moment when you feel like you've lost your phone and then you suddenly find it, but it was like that, but a million times better. It was that relief that I was like, okay, well, at least I've got light, you know? At least I can be seen. So I put the tor torch on and it was broken. It was this flickering strobe, this tunnel of light. And I was looking up and I realized that I just, fallen down this shaft and there was just nothing but grey rock around me and then I thought okay well I'll wait because you know they'll be looking for me they know they know I'm here they know my face I just waited and waited and then I just thought what if no one's coming? I mean, they know my face and, you know, they know who I am, I've got a line, but what, but what if they don't come? I know I obviously talk about myself quite a lot and I guess I don't spend a lot of time asking people how they are and, you know, I kind of, I can get a bit carried away talking about myself and obviously I'm really excited about the things I'm doing, but I realised that I don't really have a lot of people that would be looking for me and I just suddenly realised that I was completely alone. But I had to just pull myself together because I knew that, well if no one's coming, that I needed to get out. You know, I needed to get help, I was hurt and but more importantly, I, I needed that role. This was my one opportunity and I was not, you know, if I got out, I could be a hero. I pushed myself up to my feet and I started 
looking around and this funnel of light and I could just see these tiny kind of gaps in the wall, not, not really big enough to crawl through. There was this ledge and it was a kind of ledge that you don't really want to stand too close to because when I peered over, I couldn't even see the bottom. It was just like this darkness that looked like it went on forever. I know where I came from, I know I fell. So I was like, okay, I need to get up. I need to try and climb. So I started grabbing at the wall, trying to hoist myself up, trying to get my feet on the sides, but it was just slippy and sharp rock. My hands were getting cut. I was starting to panic more, thinking, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna have to jump off this ledge. But then I started to notice that the walls were moving and I I closed my eyes and blinked I was like this you know this must be the blood loss the hallucination the panic but then I started to look around with my head torch and I could see that it wasn't the walls that were moving it was thousands and thousands of spiders slowly crawling towards me. And at that moment, I jolted backwards so quickly that I just lost my footing and I fell. And it was so quick, it was so quick. I just saw the ledge just getting smaller and smaller and I was trying to grab in the air something, anything, but it was just coldness and the air was getting colder and colder. I couldn't even do anything, my body just felt so light, like it was just floating. And, and then suddenly I hit what felt like a trampoline or some kind of sponge because it kind of caught me and it was like springy and sticky. And then I realized what I was suspended in. It was the biggest spider web I had ever seen and I couldn't move. I couldn't move. So all I could do was watch as these swarms of spiders crawled towards me and as they started moving onto the web towards me and I started to feel them tickling almost gently at first and then they started getting heavier and heavier and they were biting me these nips this like sharp stinging pain and they were getting closer and closer up my body and I I wanted to shut my eyes because I didn't want to see it and I wanted to scream but I didn't want them to crawl inside my mouth so I had to just scrunch my eyes cl close and then but I wanted to see I wanted to see where they were and, and then suddenly my light went out and I was just suspended in darkness and I could still feel them biting me and smothering me all over my face. And I was getting heavier and heavier and I thought that surely this web is gonna snap and I'm gonna fall, but it didn't and it just went on and on and, and then I started feeling lighter and numb to the point I didn't even feel like I was attached to my body anymore. And I honestly didn't know how long I was there. And I couldn't tell if I was dead or alive because it was just darkness. And I always thought there would be light, lights on me.